everyone, it's Natasha of natashaskitchen.com. Today I'm gonna to show you how to measure your ingredients for cooking. Whether it's dry ingredients or wet ingredients, I'm gonna share all of our tips and tricks. This is super important to make sure all of your recipes are a success. So let's do this. We start with tools of the trade. Nothing fancy, inexpensive things that you can get anywhere. So we've got our dry ingredient measuring cup. So you're gonna use this for things like flour, sugar, and then also thick wet ingredients like sour cream. Pretty much anything that you can level off the top, all right? And then we've got our measuring spoons. You use these for dry or wet ingredients, anything that calls for a spoon measurement. And I love these because they're magnetic, so they stay together. They've got two sides, so you can use one spoon for two things. And they've got this narrow side that dips into the spice ingredients. These are awesome, I'll leave a link below. You don't have to wash all of them if you use one because there's no annoying ring. <laughs> And then finally, our wet ingredients measuring cups. You're gonna use these for anything that levels itself. So when you get down to here, you're gonna see a flat line, okay? So let's get started. The first thing, the thing that gets measured incorrectly most of the time is flour. So you'll definitely need a dry ingredients measuring cup and a spoon or a scoop. The most important thing is that you've got to spoon your flour into the measuring cup, like so. All right, and then level it off. Boom, easy. <laughs> Never ever just shove your measuring cup into there because it compacts the flour and you can get up to 25% too much flour. Okay, with sugar, you can dip the measuring cup right into the sugar. It doesn't matter because it's already compacted. We level off the top, perfect measure. Now, on to the brown sugar. This one's a little bit different because a lot of recipes call for packed brown sugar. So you're gonna take your measuring cup and dunk it in here and you're gonna compact the sugar into the cup. Just push it in there and the test of whether or not you did it right is when you invert the sugar onto a plate, it'll keep its form just like that. All right, now onto the measuring spoons. So you can use these for um, things like baking powder. You can dip it right into there. Boop, easy. Spices, same thing. Just get it in the measuring spoon and scrape. Okay, and vanilla. Just pour it till the top. All right, now onto the liquid measuring cups. That's these guys right here. So this kind of cup you can use for, like let's say we have a liquidy liquid. You're gonna pour that in and get down to the level of the liquid. So I want half a cup and I wanna see that line right at the half cup. All right, there we go. Now, as far as if you have some sticky ingredients like honey, molasses, um, corn syrup, anything like that, it's a good idea to use a nonstick cooking spray and just spray the inside of your measuring cup. You don't need a bunch, just spray it lightly. And then same thing, get down to the level of your measuring cup and watch it go in. So with that oil in the measuring cup, it makes it really easy to come right out of there. Look at this, watch this. This is awesome. You get a lot less waste this way. <laughs> My honey was a little thicker than usual today. <laughs> All right. That's pretty good. <laughs> All right, so then we're also gonna use our dry ingredient measuring cups for thick ingredients like sour cream, mayo, peanut butter. Ingredients that don't level themselves, you're gonna put that into this kind of measuring cup as well. And then you can just level off the top, the back of a knife a straight edge, voila. And then finally, we're going to weigh ingredients. Some recipes call for weighed ingredients like fruit or chocolate is usually weighed out. So you'll need a digital kitchen scale like this one, this is our favorite. All right, so you're gonna put your bowl right on top and then hit zero. That way you know you won't be measuring the bowl. Eight ounces, uh, ish. I have to eat a few. 
totally okay. That's all there is to it. <laughs> You're gonna be measuring like a boss. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a great big thumbs up below. If there are any other tutorials you'd like to see on our channel, let me know in a comment below and we'll see you later. Hey, before you go, if you're looking to improve your cooking skills this year, check out our other tutorials right over there and make sure to click below to subscribe and click that little bell icon to make sure you never miss another one of our videos. We'll see you later.